Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, I'm Chuck. This is Chuck's Raw Reviews. This is uh, episode 30. That's that's a big one. Um, this is probably going to be the rawest review I've ever done. And uh, I'm going to, before I go into our book, our a great book. And I almost feel bad for doing this book, but for this particular episode. But you guys will understand in a second when I, when I explain everything. Um... I'm a creative, I'm, uh, you know what, no, fuck it, fuck, fuck that, I'm a human being, and the thing about being a human being is, most of us, we succumb to some kind of sadness, depression, and for me, it, it, it is depression, and it's tough as fuck, and I'm kind of in the middle of it right now, and, um, I'm having a hard time getting things done, and one of the things that I find helps me is to do something get something done and um one of the things i love to do and, and one of the things that kind of recharges me and gets me excited is reading indie comics and telling people how much i love them but i'm not happy <laughs> i'm not my regular passion itself and that's tough so i'm opening that opening up to you guys and talking about it it helps you know and the reason why I'm doing the book that I'm doing today is first off because I've read it. I love it. I really do enjoy it. I love the creator behind it and I know that they'll um, understand why I'm doing this. I'm I'm bearing myself. I'm being a little open. I'm being raw so that, uh, so that I can get something done. And uh, I also get to talk about a book that I really do genuinely love and people... This is Grimwood Crossing. And uh, it's done by my good buddy, Connor Bartel. We, uh, I, I edited one of his books, and, and uh, hopefully I'm going to work with him more. Uh, but we are friends. We do talk. And um, Adigan, Ilhan, who is basically, like, they're a partnership. They're a team. They, they work together. Um, they work together on Swords and Sorrows, which I got to work on them with. And I, I love that book. I have a special place in my heart for that book. And so um, I'm excited to be able to to talk about this and to kind of break out of my depression one thing at a time, you know. And so this is that well, this is one of those things is just doing something, getting it done, moving forward. So uh, move forward with me if you guys are having a rough time or uh, if this helped in any way or anything. Please comment on the video. As always, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Um, if this is your first time seeing me, this is not me. <laughs> you know, I, or actually, no, this is me. All right, I'm I'm a human being who gets fucked up and and has a tough time. But I'm also a dude who fucking loves comics and he loves to have a good time. And I can feel that love growing in me again, and 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 that that passion, that excitement growing in me. So that I can uh, I can give this this comic the exactly what it deserves. So, Grimwood talk, Crossing. Let's talk about it. Um, this is actually it's funny because this book was originally done in issues, and then it was brought out in uh, a part one and a part two, and um, I was also part of the Advocator, um, which is a great book that um, has shorts from ongoing series and so there's a short in here that was in the advocator and welcome my my welcome to the void was in there too so i've shared the spotlight with uh, connor on several occasions connor and adigan and so that's kind of cool and um when i'm at my table because i'm selling the advocator i get to sell a little piece of grimwood and i love that and so when i talk about grimwood i do uh, because the advocator is six different uh um stories or series all in one i i like to have a quick pitch for all of those series to get people excited about it and this one i just say monster hunters in the wild west and that kind of that, that i've seen eyes light up that gets people excited and uh it's a really good so i'm touching my nose a lot i don't do coke <laughs> but my i'm i've had a very runny nose lately and it's it's itchy and it's sensitive and you know what I mean so if I'm touching myself a lot please don't be like dude Chuck is mad on the blow now I'd probably be a lot happier if I was mad on the blow <laughs> nope 
Uh, my drug of choice right now, hot motherfucking tea. That and indie comics. Oh, segue. Fuck yeah. He's back. Sort of. Um, so, Monster Hunters in the Wild West. That's exactly what this is. Basically, it's a different world. This isn't America or anything like that. And Grimwood Crossing is sort of a central hub for a lot of places. And there's um, all sorts of monsters that have kind of come out of this other dimension, so to speak. They don't go into that too much. That, that starts as a... Um, uh, how do they do it exactly? I mean, it, it's mentioned somewhere that that basically the the origin to all of that, but the origin of where the monsters come from, they're not important. Basically, what's all that all that's important is Grimwood Crossing is a small town. It's kind of a central hub for um, you know sort of the the crossroads, so to speak, of all these different cities and whatnot. And so a lot of things come through there, and because of that. Um, the sheriff of that town is not only a sheriff, but they're also a monster hunter. And, uh, I, I like to think of them almost as Sith in the fact that there's always two. There's the sheriff and then there's the deputy. And so the sheriff is always getting the deputy to be, to be ready to become the new sheriff. And, uh, so it, it's kind of, it's kind of got a Sith feel. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but that's what I got out of it. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a really good book very serious um it certainly has you know it's it's moments of levity here and there but for the most part it's a very serious book um i i wonder if and i've never asked connor this if he has some fantasy roots i think he's kind of a fantasy guy and the reasons for that is this came with it it's a nice little um map i i love the maps and the map is very simple it basically shows you where all the different places are and all that kind of stuff in the town and outside of the town. And it's fun. Um, and I love to be able to look and see where everything is. So that was a neat little addition, which I, I, I think is cool. I'm surprised I've never tried to do a map, but I've never really worked hard on making a world. You know, I've had maps for other things, but for my books yet, I haven't had any maps. So maybe that's something that I need to work on. It's something that would require a map. Um, the art. Let's talk about the art real quick. I'm just flipped to a random page. It's all black and white. And Adigan's work is beautiful. He's really good. I almost like... Uh, the work is so good that I almost feel like what he does is he has a black page. And he just goes white over top of it. Because it's so dark. It's so perfect for black and white. A lot of times when people do black and white... Um, it... it it's, it's frugality that wins. You know, we do black and white because um, uh, we can't afford a colorist. And a colorist work is, it's expensive, but it's worth it. You know, uh, it, but if you can do black and white well, then why why worry about it? And man, they do it well. Um, Adigan's work really, well, that, <laughs> I was going to show something like, well, that's a spoiler. Um, but, you know, just, oh, I want to see if there's a good splash page. Um, but there's, uh, yeah, there's something cool. Look at all that. Um, great book. Really enjoy it a lot. Um, if you need me to go into the story a little bit more, we're already going through. And what have I talked about? Depression, art, and, uh, how much I like maps. Oh, good. I'm a fucking hell of a reviewer, huh? <laughs> Um, oh, and I drank a little bit of tea. Um, so what the book's basically about is it's about the, uh, the sheriff, Bill, or no, yeah, Bill and his uh, deputy, Bobby. And, um, it's kind of learning about their origins and what they're doing and whatnot. And also, uh, um, there's something in Bill's history, I'm trying not to give too much away, there's something in Bill's history that has basically resurfaced again, and now the two of them have to, um, as it comes into the town, to uh, take its vengeance. Um, they have to deal with that and find a way through, and also, um, Bobby 
the uh, the deputy is a little shit, and most people don't like him. And so it's him also kind of proving himself, proving to not just be a little shit, but someone who does actually care and could actually end up being a worthwhile sheriff. And so I think that's really at the heart of it, what the book's about. I love it. I love what they did. Um, the one thing I will say, I got it as the omnibus. So I got everything, including, by the way, all of the great, there's a bunch of short stories and um, uh, like a monster, uh, was there, uh, um, a bestiary and all that kind of stuff. Like there's all sorts of great add-ons and the add-ons, a lot of times I don't even read them or I'm not interested, but actually they were really good and really helpful so i enjoyed them a lot we didn't need the help but it was fun it just it fleshed it out and it was totally worthwhile so if you were going to do anything i would definitely just buy the omnibus it was worth it and a lot of fun and i enjoyed it an awful lot the story was fantastic um really story wise there wasn't a lot of issues that i would have like as a, a an editor there's certain things i might have wanted to see or or play with a little bit but um uh, but I'm, I'm not sure that there's anything necessarily that, um, that had to be done. You know what I mean? Like there's some things that I might've wanted to change, but it's, it's solid. It's really well done. Um, enjoyed it an awful lot. Uh, Adigan's art is solid and really good. And actually a lot of, you know, color couldn't, might not have hurt the book, but as we can see, it, it's not necessary, you know, or was this, uh. No, okay. <laughs> like, is this one that will ruin it because I've done that before? No. Uh, the art, the the color. I mean, that cover is fucking gorgeous too. So, yeah, man, that's where we're at. A really good book. Loved it. Um, totally worth the time. And uh, depression sucks. So, if you guys out there are having a rough time, you know what, man? Pick up a good book enjoy yourself pick up one of the books that i've uh that i've recommended here and uh get something done do something it doesn't matter you know don't think about all the stuff ahead of you that you have to do just do one thing and that will help and so being able to talk to you guys and get something done today i can feel i can breathe a little easier i can get stuff done so uh thank you guys for the therapy um i'll charge you later on or you'll charge me. I don't know. Um, please keep checking out the videos. Uh, go back to old ones. Comment. Tell me what you think. If the you know, um, if there's books that you want me to go into, I can't. You know, I don't do these as often as I should because I'm busy trying to do other. You know, m my job as an editor, as a writer, as all those things. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time. Um, and as always, peace. Peace is important, especially with all the shit that's gone on recently. And it's nice. It, it's sad because I'll probably someone will probably watch this years down, and they'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things have been really brutal lately." But I had written, had said this years before. Peace, love, love is really important. Show your passions. Mine is my family, my friends, and good storytelling amazing storytelling and that's what i'm showing you in these videos and comics peace love and comics my friends Mwah! thank you